Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm doing another Madame Glam set with some of the colours that I showed you in my last video and my um, swatching video. I will link that in the description box so you can see that and this is the design that I'm doing today. I tried some little pixie um, stones, I can't remember exactly what you call them. Um, but yeah, I've not been able to upload as often as I have done because we've got a pup at the moment. Um, we got him at eight weeks and he's now 14 weeks. Um, and he's absolutely mad. I will show you uh, a little video of him in a bit. I'm not gonna put it on just yet. I'll put it on a bit later in the video so you can see um, what he looks like, but you might hear him in the background. So I'm just telling you about that. Um, yeah, it's like having another child. <laughs> so yeah, I forgot how difficult it was having a pup. I mean, he is into everything. He's jumping up at everything. Uh, so yeah, it's a full time job. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so what you've seen me do there is uh, for these nails, I'm doing the first nail on um, just a tip and it's on a little stand. So yeah, what I've done on the tip, I've put some base coat on, then I've gone in with two coats of Your So Vain, that is uh, this lovely, gorgeous, dusky pink colour, and I've put that onto the tip. And then I'm using these um, silver metal hearts, and I've just put one on the tip to show that um, it's not f um, it's flat, so it's not sitting on the nail properly. So they are very light and easy to bend, so I've just bent it a little bit so that it sits a bit better on the nail. And you can see when I put it on that it's a bit more flat and it's sitting there nicely. Um, so I've put some wet base coat on there, and then when I'm happy with where the heart is, I cure it for 30 seconds. And then I'm going in with a fine liner brush and this is the white that I got and it's called Not Your Usual White. So it's like, um, it's got a pink shimmer to it. It's sort of a metallic-y colour. I absolutely love this. Um, so I'm going to fill in the inside of the heart with that. And then after that's cured for 30 seconds, um, I'm going in with some top coat and I'm putting that inside the heart um, just to cover up that polish. Um, and I do go in with, um, I think it's three layers of this top coat because I want to build up that heart so it looks more like a pendant on a necklace. And then when I've done that and cured that, it's time to put the chain on and I'm using these little tiny micro beads and they are the hardest things to get to work ever. <laughs> they are so annoying to work with. I love the way they look, um, but they just end up going everywhere. Um, so yeah, I've sped this up and I've cut a lot out because it, I was faffing with it for ages and they kept moving around and I should have just put a bit of poly gel on there, I think, and then they would have stayed where I put them. Um, so maybe I'll try that next time and see what it, what it's like. Um, so here is the dog in the right hand corner. I'm just showing you a little picture of him there. That is when he was eight weeks old and we got him. Um, and then now he is 14 weeks and here's a little video just showing you him playing in the garden with the kids and with some bubbles. And as you can tell, he's about three times the size. He's absolutely huge. I mean, we love him to bits, but he's hard work. Uh, so yeah, that's why I've not been uploading as much as I usually do. Um, but yeah, so anyway, let's get back to the nails. Um, so I'm just finishing off with those micro beads and I'm making um, the chain look how I want it to look and in between I'm just flash curing with my little LED torch. Um, if you've not got one of these, they are really good because it just saves you having to put whatever you, you know, whatever you're using your tip or your practice hand or your hand um, into your lamp. And sometimes it's a bit awkward to do that. So these little torches are brilliant. You can just put it on for a few seconds and then, you know, your stuff doesn't move around everywhere. I love mine. So yeah, when I'm finally happy with the chain, um, I do go over with some top coat, but it's the glossy top coat. And then I changed my mind at the end of the video and I wanted to, to do it matte instead. So that's why I've not left that in. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to you in a bit when I finish this nail.
Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all finished. As you can see, this top coat on there and you um, you can see that the pendant is, um, you know, it's sticking out from the nail. That's how I wanted it to look. So I was really happy with that. I love it. Um, I did do this at Valentine's Day on a different nail, but I didn't have these silver hearts at the time. I was waiting for them from AliExpress. So I'm glad I finally got to use them. Um, so as you can see I've put that in the practice hand now and I'm going to do the rest of the nails So I'm just going to start off with the base coat. I'm going to put that on all of the nails and cure that for 30 seconds and then on The pinky and the middle finger I'm going in with not your usual white and then on the ring finger I'm putting your so vain two coats of each and then I'll cure each coat for 30 seconds So I just wanted a background because on the middle finger and the pinky I'm going to do a marble with these two colours with the not your usual white and your so vain. Um, but I did want a background to the nail because I didn't want to have to cover the entire nail with the marble because when you do that on really long nails, especially on the practice hand, um, your gel polish does tend to run a bit everywhere and I didn't want that to happen so um, that's why I'm doing it this way. I absolutely love this You're So Vain colour, it's gorgeous, perfect dusky pink I think, I really like it. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I did the design on my nails, that's um, using Madame Glam's liquid builder gels with some shells on. Um, that video will be linked in the description box as well. So I'm just putting some of those colours on a little palette and I'm putting um, some no wipe top coat in the middle and I'm gonna just get a fine liner brush. I'm gonna brush those all together so I've got like a marbly pattern. So I saw someone do this. Um, I've seen lots of people do this, this effect and I really wanted to have a go. Everyone seems to be having a go at this at the moment. Um, so I wanted to try and see if I could do it. So I'm just marbling all them colours together and then I'm getting my, um, it's like a flat brush. Um, yeah, it's got a straight edge to it and I'm just picking that up. Not too much, but not, um, you know, I don't want the brush too dry. And I'm trying to sort of wriggle it around on the nail. Um, I found this really hard to do. Um, I think after all the time of me telling my hand, please keep still, please keep still when I'm trying to do like nail work and, and line work and stuff, it's so odd trying to get your hand to wriggle about because you've been used to telling it not to do that. So yeah, it was really weird. Um, but I think the more I practice, the more, um, you know, the better it'll come out. So yeah, this was a bit of a trial and error, but I did really like the way it turned out. I was happy with it in the end. So again, when I'm happy with that marble, I am gonna cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I do the same on the pinky, but I don't show you that on camera because it's just exactly the same. I'm, I'm still using the same as what's on the palette, just, you know, it looks slightly different because all marbles look different. So then we're onto the pinky finger now, and uh, sorry, not the pinky, we're onto the ring finger now, and I'm gonna put a coat of no white top coat onto the nail, I'm gonna leave it wet, and then I'm gonna put these pixie crystals on. And these are like a mixture of tiny, tiny crystals and um, the caviar beads, but the clear ones. So yeah, I'm putting, um, I'm leaving this bit, this top coat wet and I'm trying to sprinkle them on. Now these went absolutely everywhere. They bounced off the table, they bounced off the floor, they bounced, I, I thought by using this little tray underneath, it had sort of catch them, but they just bounced out of it, so it was a bit of a disaster. Uh, but I did love the way it turned out in the end. Um, I did have to go in quite a few times with this bottle and, um, you know, put a few more on where I was missing them. So then um, I do try and press them down with my finger, but that kind of moved them around a bit, so we had to put a few more on. Um, yeah, and then I got the trays full there, so I swap the trays round and then I use what was in the tray just to pour over again and then at the end that wasn't on camera because it took ages I got the detailer brush and I just filled in all the little gaps where there weren't enough so I think it looked all right but I think it's safe to say it'll be a while before I use those again <laughs> 
So yeah, they make it look so easy on these Instagram videos when you see people use them, but it's really not that easy. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, maybe putting them onto polygel or something might be a bit easier and they won't just come off. We'll see. With you for Okay, so I'm going in now with my Beatles matte top coat. I don't have a Madame Glam top coat, um, a matte one. I've got the glossy one, but I have heard that their, top, their matte top coat is called Velvet Matte, and it's supposed to be really good, so I will be getting that at some point. So here is the finished result. Um, I'm just going to show you a little video of me showing you all angles of the nails. Um, I really hope that you like these as much as I like doing them. I absolutely love this set. Um, I wasn't particularly in love with these little pixie crystals. I don't think they look um, as good as other people do them, but I still like them anyway because they're mine. And I love that pendant. I absolutely love it. So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Would you wear these? Um, yeah, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.